Hi, I'm Ron DiCostanzo from ZBass, and in this video, we're going to take a look at self-servicing our ZX2 series reel with our ZBass toolkit and our ZBass self-service kit. The first thing we're going to do is disassemble the reel, remove all the old seals and O-rings, and get the reel clean and ready for reassembly. We're going to start by removing the drag cap and the rotor and putting those aside. There's three Phillips head screws to remove the rotor, so I'm going to take the Phillips driver that was included with our tool kit and remove these three screws. The rotor will pop right off, we'll put that aside, and now we'll remove the handle. Place that aside as well. Okay, now we're ready to um, get into the reel. We're going to remove the side cover by loosening the side cover nut. And this gives us our first look inside the reel. Okay, now we have six screws that will use our 564 um, hex driver that was also included in the tool kit to remove those screws. Once we have all the screws loosened up, we can then pry the gear cover right off and we're ready to put that aside for cleaning. And here we have the body of the reel and all we need to do now is remove the clutch assembly. We do that by just rotating the knurled knob counterclockwise until it's all the way loose and then we'll be able to slide the whole assembly right off the shaft. And there's our pinion assembly and our clutch. And here's uh, the main reel body that's now ready to be cleaned. The only thing I need to do now is I need to further disassemble the clutch housing and pinion assembly so I could get that ready for cleaning as well. This is, this is where I'm going to take the tool block that comes with the tool kit and you'll notice it has a cutout for the shaft guide to go into and hold it down. So I'm going to place the shaft guide right into that cutout and then I'm going to take a small Allen key and pass this through the two holes that you'll see drilled in the pinion. So this is a 564 Allen key or I could take a stainless rod or any rigid rod that'll fit through there and that's going to give me a place to grab onto with the pinion wrench. So I'll take the pinion wrench, there's two slots in it and I'm going to line those up with the Allen key and then I'm going to remove the pinion. Now this uses uh, left-handed thread so I need to turn clockwise to loosen. So I'm going to turn that clockwise until it breaks free and then I can just unscrew the pinion and the main bearing right off. So there's my pinion gear, there's my main bearing. I'll put these aside for cleaning. I'm going to lift the shaft guide right out of here and the knurled locking knob, put those aside and that's going to leave me with the clutch housing and the main seal. This, this is the most important thing that we need to service every year. This seal, the main seal, gets more wear than any other seal on the reel so it's, it's very important that we get to that and change it every year. Okay, you'll notice that the tool block also has you know, a hole drilled through it and what we want to do here is we want to use our press tool to press this clutch assembly out. You'll notice that there's one pin that locks the clutch from rotating. So I want to line that pin up with one of the cutouts inside here so that the pin will just drop right down. So I carefully line that up and then I'm going to take the, um, the blunt end of the press tool and I'm just going to drive this whole assembly right out. As I lift the tool block you'll see we have the main seal, the clutch, the pin, and the empty housing. You'll also notice that there's the sleeve that's still in here. This goes around the, uh, the shaft guide. Some of you may have a one-piece shaft guide that will look like this. We have one-piece shaft guides out there and we also have two-piece shaft guides. It's only the two-piece shaft guides that have this sleeve. So they're both, when they're both put together, they're identical to each other. 
Um, and I just wanted to show you both because I know that you know there are some of you out there that still have the one piece guide. Now that I have the reel completely disassembled and ready for cleaning, I want to remove all the old O-rings that I'm going to replace before I clean the reel. I don't want the old O-rings to be able to trap any dirt or anything else, any grime that uh, I would normally get if they were removed. So I'm going to take them all off now. I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to take the O-ring off of the side cover by pinching it. I'm going to do the same thing with the gear cover. I'm going to pinch it to get it to stand up a little and then just pull it off. Put that aside. I've already removed the main seal. I want to change that. I'm going to take the, uh, the two shaft seals for the shaft guide out. I'm just going to use a little flathead screwdriver to kind of pry these out. There's two of them in there. So get them both out. You could also use the hook tool that comes with the kit. So that's all set to go. Um, there's an O-ring on the outside of the clutch housing, so I'm going to squeeze that off. There's also an O-ring around the neck of the reel. We're going to take that off. For the gear cover seal, I need to use the hook tool to dig that seal out. Um, when I'm going in, I really need to get a good grip on it, almost like I'm gaffing a fish, and, and pull it out. Just like that. Obviously, once you do that, you can't reuse this seal, but I don't recommend reusing any seal or O-ring that you take out. We give you all the O-rings that you'll need to replace all these things, and it really doesn't pay to reuse an old O-ring. Okay, so now we're all set to go. I don't need to remove the gear unless I see a real problem inside the reel, like a lot of, uh, you know, if there was water intrusion. So I'm going to leave the gear in, and I'm going to clean this off just the way it is. If you want to remove the gear from the gear cover to clean the bearings inside there, you'll need to use a pair of snap ring pliers. These are Imperial part number IR380S. They're easily available online, places like McMaster Car carries them. Uh, use the pliers to remove the retaining ring that's holding the gear inside the gear cover. You just want to spread the clip lightly to lift it out. Just like that. Once the clip is out, you can push the gear right out and you'll see that uh, coming with it is the clutch and the gear bearing. So you can remove these, inspect them, clean them. You can clean your, uh, your main gear out. There's also another um, bearing in the cover. You could just push that right out, lubricate that, clean it, and then um, you're all set to go. To reassemble, you just uh, do everything in reverse. Take your gear, place your gear bearing on the shaft, slide it all the way down, um, slide the clutch back on, making sure that the gear rotates in the correct direction. Um, if you're a righty, um, that would be clockwise you want the gear to rotate. And then you can place the whole assembly back in the gear cover and rotate it till the clutch drops into its uh, slot. And then I would just place the, um, the cover bearing back over the, the gear shaft. And I'll press that all the way down with the seal tool. And then when I go to reinstall the little retaining ring you're going to notice that it has a curve to it, and you want that curve so that it's making like an N. You want to have the two ends um, pressing down on the bearing and the center lifting up. That holds the gear uh, snugly in place. And again, just lightly spread it to get it over the gear shaft. And then press this all the way in so that it locks into that little groove cut in the shaft with the seal tool. You just press that all the way down. And now you just want to make sure that you can't press your gear out anymore and that it's spinning in the, in the right direction. Okay, before I start uh, rinsing the grease out with WD-40, I want to get as much as I can out with a Q-tip. So after I get most of the grease cleaned out of these parts, I like to take a brush and some WD-40 and spray it over a, tin, uh, you know, a metal paint can. And then I'll use the brush to really get it good and clean. I also use the brush to clean out the, uh, the main gear assembly and the pinion gear also. I want to have everything um, totally free of any of the old lubricant. 
I want it as clean as possible. I like to use compressed air. We have compressed air here at the shop to really um, dry it off real well. Here we have all the parts that have been uh, cleaned. You'll notice there's no trace of old lubrication in there. And now I'm uh, ready to begin reinstalling the new seals and O-rings.